Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 81 of Daryl20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series, where we are working on fuel, huzzah, for our fusion reactor we set up. So last episode, we got a fusion reactor going, right? Um, and, and over here, I just want to show you what I, what I finalized or settled on. It seemed like just having one of these flux points connected to the to the electromagnets wasn't quite enough to keep everybody happily powered. So I popped four of them down on the inner and four of them down on the outer rings. And that seems to be keeping everybody nicely powered. Um, and, and keeping this running is just using a little bit of RF at, at the moment. It's, it's, it's not a huge amount of RF being drained out of my battery over here. And I'm hoping that my battery is nicely filled up. Um, I hope I'm right about that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fluctuating. I don't know how much it's using, to be fair. Input 4.92 RF a tick? Why are you so low? Input 4.92. Shouldn't you be like 20-something thousand? What's going on over here? Why are you short on ethylene? Seems like you don't quite have enough. Doesn't it? Doesn't that seem that way? Oh, are we out of potatoes? Oh, there's your problem. We are out of potatoes. All right, guys, I really think it's time that we get this nuclear reactor up and running because we are suffering uh, a serious potato deficiency. Does that work? Is that a thing that works? I think I think technically like melons might be a little bit better or, or something. There's, there's another resource that you can get like more than potatoes. Um, but yeah. Maybe you could have more power, buddy. I gotta jumpstart this guy a little bit, don't I? Give him a little bit of a boost. Man, he seems slow. Eh, whatever. We'll let this thing do its thing, and then we'll come back to it being a thing. Uh, so anyway, nuclear power, definitely a need. Definitely need to get this thing up and running. So what I've set up is another thermal evaporation block. And the reason for this, bing, you're online? Cool, and your temperature's going up? Beautiful. Uh, so I looked into tritium, right? So deuterium is relatively easy to make for mechanism. We just need to get heavy water. And from what I remember, heavy water we can get from, there's like a heavy water filter or something like that for the pump. And we basically just pump water and we should be able to get deuterium straight up from an electrolyzer. So that should be easy-ish to get. So I'm gonna start with tritium, right? Um, you know, which, which isn't terrible. So we need a solar neutron activator to convert lithium into tritium, okay? To get lithium, we need to decondensate liquid lithium into lithium. And to get liquid lithium, we can get it from a thermal evaporation controller using brine. Brine turns into liquid lithium. We can also get it um, lithium straight up from lithium dust, but um, you know this costs literally just zero resources because we already have infinite brine because brine is just straight up water and that's it, right? So long story short is I prepared off camera between episodes what should be needed here. And hopefully that means that you're gonna get what you need to get. Brian, yay, and we got liquid lithium. Look at that, that was quick. Okay, uh, neat. Not sure if we need to store liquid lithium in any kind of way, shape, or form, uh, but what we could get is just a tank. Uh, we could just get like this guy upgraded. Give me like, you know, 10 of these real quick. I don't know if we want to go too crazy with it, right? That'll be 28 buckets and and you can straight up upgrade and be 56 buckets. I think that seems reasonable, right? Um, it's been a while since I've messed with these conduits. I should probably be doing this with the other conduits to be fair, but I think you extract faster. Hey, wow, that was, speaking of fast, holy cow, that is fast for sure. 
So liquid lithium is definitely doing a good job, right? So you're just not trans, well, no, you're good. What's your, what's your deal, buster? So you're an ultimate mechanical pipe. Are you just being slow or what's your, what's your, what's your deal, buddy? Oh, nope, you're good. You're good. So now we're gonna backlog on brine and then we'll backlog our brine and backlog on water. Nice. Um, so if I was concerned, I could always throw more, you know, things here. I wonder if I could, if I got like two more of these, I just got a few, I just get a few. By the time this crafts and is ready, we will be like all good, right? Can I put you like here? Would that be like groovy now? 1280, Brian. Sweet. Are you allowed to be one of these or are you going to complain? Can't pump water into this thing fast enough. 1920, Brian. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. That's cool. And that'll just be, that's just more Brian production, right? Faster. Faster brine production equals faster lithium production. Nice. So at some point you're gonna back stuff, right? So the pipe will fill up and then this brine will fill up pretty quickly, I would think. Boom, and then the water fills up. Nice, I like it. I like it, all right, cool. So now we need the solar doohickey, right? Solar evaporation, solar something. Solar Neutron Activator. I have no idea how many of these we're gonna want, but I think I should teach it to my system because it'll be quicker just to be like, hey, you need to learn how to make a Solar Neutron doohickey. Uh, and hopefully it'll be cool. Do you know how to make HDPE sheets? I feel like the answer is no. I feel like we don't know how to make those, do we? Let's find out. I'm pretty sure you're gonna complain because I don't have any of those. Right. Um, that needs HDPE pellets, which is made in a PRC between liquid ethylene and oxygen. So luckily we have most of what we need because we need substrates for that, right? And we need liquid ethylene. So we have gaseous ethylene being produced here in a very slow way. Uh, really need more potatoes pretty quickly. You are just not keeping up, are you? Um, all right, so let's do a thing. How do we want to handle this? What do you guys think? How should we handle this setup? Um, are you like getting to the point where you're cool or are you gonna, you look like you're filling up. Mm, how do we want to do this? So we want to, we want a condensator, condensator or something, All right? So I need one of you, I need some basics. Need some tablets. Oh, good. So, can I have my tablet there? There's your rotary condensator, right? Because we basically need to take this stuff and put it in um, a PRC. So, we're going to need a PRC. Pressurized reaction chamber. What else do we need for you? We need a couple of you. And we need a steel casing. No, we need an enrichment chamber, okay. So we need a steel casing here. And we're gonna need some of you, and we're gonna need some of you. Okay. Reaction chamber, so you. Really, you're not done with the casing yet? Come on, bro. Thank you. And then you should be cool. Enrichment chamber, thank you. Good deal. All right, so with that taken care of, right, so you're the gas tank, 
that has all the, the, the gas in it, right? You're just not producing gas fast enough for me at the moment, which is which is a real shame. I might want to just... I'm going to turn you off for a minute. Can I turn you off? Current status active. Current status deactivated. So we're turning off our power gen so that we can build up a backlog. How are we for potatoes? Not so great. Yeah. Melons? What else can we get biomass from? Biofuel. Saplings can do it. We should have a lot of saplings, shouldn't we? Pretty good. Let me just real quick. Melons get you four. Remember I said melons were probably the good way to go. Baked potatoes, wheat. Pretty much any sapling. Carrots. Apples. Ooh, pumpkins are pretty good. Are we, like, crazy good on any of this stuff? Just enough to, like, get our backlog cleaned up. Can you have more speed upgrades? No, that's about all you can be. I just want to, like, get this thing to the point where it's cool, right? Like, you do your thing. Get me more PRC stuff going on, right? Clean up this... Wow, you have a lot of ethylene that you need to store backlogged. All right, let's come back in a minute once this is all ready to go. And what I'll do is set up these machines real quick. Well, we'll set up the machines while we're waiting. How's that sound? Uh, so I need to rotary concentrate the gas, uh, which I'm going to set you to side config output front. That should be cool. Right, so you should... Let's put you on rotate mode or wrench mode. Is that cool? Ethylene turning into liquid ethylene. Hey, good job. Cool. Right, because HDPE needs liquid ethylene, right? Liquid ethylene, and then it needs oxygen in a PRC, right? So we're going to side config. Fluids can come in the left. Does that mean you're getting something? Liquid ethylene. Items, energy, fluids. I would imagine that that would work. Any fluids? Hello? All right, let's try this then, All right? So we're gonna do this. Um, that direction will be extract always active, and that direction will be insert. Now we're cooking liquid ethylene. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, can I put gas and items in the bottom? That is the question, right? So, uh, gases and items input, right? Because what I'd like to do is this. Give me everything. Extract, always active, and insert the items. There, substrate's coming in, right? Now that's oxygen right there, right? Basic pressurized tube of oxygen. Why are you oxygen on that channel? What, what's this? What's coming out of here? That's hydrogen coming out that way, right? And your oxygen coming out this way, right? So what I might do is change this to use the new tubes that I've been using. I don't think there's any reason not to use this. Aside from the fact that it's like, that's right there with, uh, let's just keep an eye on where gas lines are, right? So if that's there, we wanna make sure that these two do not connect, right? So if I put this here, oh good, he doesn't connect. He's like, he's like fluid conduits in that he won't connect to a, a filled fluid conduit unless specifically told to. That is beautiful. Thank you, gas conduits and endorio conduits for being such an amazing conduiter. So south, extract always active. West, extract always active. 
insert. Cool, so you should be cool then, which now means that we can easily run conduit in here. Um, I'm thinking we just want you to run like this. Cool, so you're gonna get oxygen now, and that means you get HDPE pellets, nice. And then you just need power so that you can run. Okay, so that's fancy times. Not, not a horrible, not horrible, pretty good. I like it. All right, rotary condensators, you guys are full of ethylene and all that good stuff, so that's nice. Um, can I have more apples or something? How about wheat? Do we have a lot of wheat? Yeah, we have a pretty good amount of wheat. I should do like a hopper or something up here, right? So I can like feed extra items in as wanted. I don't think that would be terribly inappropriate, would it? Give my potatoes a little break. And once we switch to nuclear power, we should be better, right? So items can be input on the top. So if I do that, you should start wheating it up. Nice, all right. So you're doing your liquid ethylene thing. Um, I assume that you're running. I can only assume that much is true. Yes. Mechanism upgrades, do we have some speed and power? I think we do. Now people were telling me that I can like... Cool. Neat. Ah, oh, there you go. Now you're building up a backlog. Good job, liquid ethylene. Go crazy. All right, and then uh, HDPE pellets turn into sheets, something like this, don't they? HDPE sheets, ah, okay, cool. So make me, let's say four, let's say, let's just do two of these for now, and then we'll make more as needed, cool? So we'll come back when the crafting's done. And we've got, I'll see if I need a lot of HDPE sheets in the future, and if I will, I'll do some kind of store them and let the AE system access some kind of thing. But, I mean, I think we'll be cool. All right, so solar neutron activators, right? Uh, I suspect that they use, you know, sunlight. <laughs> There's a big theory, right? Uh, let's pop them down here and here, because I'm not entirely sure how they work. I'm assuming that's actually uh, the fluid input. Does that look right? So where's the fluid come out of? I don't see anything on the bottom. Mm, we'll find out. Uh, conduits. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. Maybe this way? Maybe that's the fluid output there? I mean, we gotta get it in there somehow. Does it connect on the bottom? No. These are fluid conduits, right? Liquid lithium, so it is a fluid that we need to Uh, maybe we want to use the mechanism fluid conduits. That's basic, ultimate mechanical pipe. How in the world do we get solar neutron activators to receive fluids? That's weird. Back in a sec, gotta Google. Oh wait, I remember now, hold on, nobody panic. Uh, we need another rotary condensator. That's right, because we need the gaseous form of things. So we need a tablet, we need one of you. Hey, so we need one of you, we need one of you, right? And we need a bunch of you. That's the problem. We need gas in there, not, not, not fluid. Dire derping it up as always. Now, can you be so kind 
as to maybe uh, auto import or something. Nah, I'm probably gonna have to do something with you. Uh, la la la. So like, let's put you, Mr. Rotary Condensator, here. And you on the east could be extract always active, right? So if I toggle operation decondensating, right, you're gonna get liquid lithium and you're gonna produce lithium. Cool. Okay, while we're here, let's get like, you know, 24 more of each of these. How about 32? Does that seem reasonable? That's a reasonable number, right? Um, cause I don't know if the solar neutron doohickeys can accept them or not. Right, so you're gonna need power at some point. So do you connect? So now we need the gas, pressurized gas tubes, right? So I assume, okay. There you go, so lithium's going in. Uh, accepts from the bottom and outputs out the side. Okay, so that's cool. So how about we get another one of those solar neutron doohickeys? Because I don't remember them being particularly hard to craft. Yeah, that's easy enough. So solar neutron reflector. So now we can have three of them, right? Um, so you've made a little bit of tritium. All right, cool. And that is a tritium in the gaseous form, right? So we're going to need a tank, uh, a gas tank for tritium, right? Now, uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to transfer gases across a long distance is the problem. Uh, so I'd probably want an advanced gas tank. Let's get like the top tier gas tank if we can. So let's get like four of you, four of you, and four of you. Okay, and that should be cool. So then you can be upgraded to that, and then you can be upgraded to that. All right, and you can hold 512,000 gas. Cool, and then you should be tritium. Nice, all right, good, good, good. So then you just need power over here for this guy. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, we probably want the mechanism dudes. So A to you and A to you. And I don't see you, do you get upgrades? Supported speed, oh, you do get upgrades. Well, well, well how do you do? Supported upgrades. Uh, so you support speed upgrades and that's it? I mean, it makes sense because they don't require power here. So you know what I can do? Uh, we can just straight up flux network this. At this point, we are cool to do something like that. Cool, nice, okay, cool. So power. And you should be good. All right, so your problem now is the amount that you can transfer, right? So we need the ultimate mechanical pipe here so that you can transfer faster. Hey. Nice. All right, so that's that's the big difference there is the ultimate mechanical pipes can transfer fluids a lot more, uh, more rapidly. All right, so now you're producing gas at a pretty good pace, right? But so like, let's see if we put, there you go. I can't tell if you're that much faster now, but I mean, it definitely seems to help. That's what's up. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right, so we're definitely producing uh, faster than you can handle basic pressurized tube. So I think our next uh, stage here should be to get a higher tier 
pressurized tube. Basic pressurized tube. So can we upgrade you? I never have enough of these alloys when I need them. Actually, no. Let's get like 10, 10, and 10. Otherwise, it uses the alloys as it's making the alloys, which not helpful, right? So let's do 32. Does that sound fair? And because they're kind of or dictionary, it's a little bit funny, but you have to sometimes do that. Okay, so you should be able to transfer gas more rapidly now than you could a moment ago. Which means that you should be extracting your gas a lot quicker, which means that you're all around doing a good job of producing tritium. That's pretty quick. I mean, that's a lot of tritium really fast for what is essentially water. Nice. All right, so next up we need deuterium, right? So don't we need a pump? Yeah, we totally need a, an electric pump from mechanism. And don't we need some kind of filter? I feel like we need a filter. And I'd like to get the gaseous form of deuterium just for fun. Uh, and I feel like we put water. Boom. And we put the pump right over the water and you're gonna pump it up. But I need some kind of filter. Supported energy, speed, filter. Yes, that's what we want. We want the filter. Upgrade. A filter that separates heavy water from regular water. Nice, okay, so you just need some, what is that, osmium dust? No, tin. Tin. Really? 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 We, uh, we don't have a crusher recipe for tin? I feel like, I feel like we should. Where'd you go, Tin? Pulverize Tin. Why didn't Tin show up? Okay, I don't know. It's all good, filter upgrade. So literally you just put this filter upgrade in this thing, right? Now I thought there was like a void fluids mode, but hopefully, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that and that and, Okay, uh, tank, this looks like it has water in it, right? Is that water? Distilled water, nope, I was wrong. Uh, how about we make another one of you? Uh, tank, 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 you, thank you. Just to get that stuff, thank you. All right, so now we put this upgrade in here and now he should only collect distilled or er, 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 heavy water, right? Goodbye water. Cool, heavy water, nice. Slowly but surely, uh, producing the heavy water. Now, will you connect and behave yourself? Nope, you need to be on the top, fair enough. Uh, so let's put you here. With a conduit? Oh, you know what, no, I think he needs to be there. That's where the power plug is. Uh, Now we're cooking heavy water. Uh, and you also can receive uh, some energy upgrades, I believe. And we're gonna need more speed upgrades because that's the situation we find. Uh, iron? Really? 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 That's surprising. No, probably not that bad. Maybe not that surprising. But surprising nonetheless. Uh, let's get you good to go. Iron, or iron, is what we're gonna need here in a moment. Generators network. Config, new filter, or dictionary, or iron. Nope, or iron. Capitalization does count today, we learned. Reset, start. You have a lot of ore iron to process.
That should get us going. Now, can you make speed upgrades for me, please, sir? Yay, digital miner for the win, right? How great is that? How great is the digital miner? It is so awesome and so OP. I love it. All right, so now you should be producing heavy water at a faster rate, right? So if we want deuterium from heavy water, right? Liquid deuterium and gaseous deuterium. So gaseous deuterium comes from the electrolytic separator. So we don't need that. We just need the electrolytic separator, right? And I'm pretty sure we're going to need an electrolytic core for this. Hey, I guessed correctly. Um, cool. And then a couple of the red alloys. Nice. Okay, so you here. And uh, I'm guessing I can just conduit you over, right? Yay, power. All right. Uh, and then pressurized tube, mechanical pipe. I don't think we need ultimate mechanical pipes. I don't think you're that. Will you go in there? Yeah, heavy water, deuterium, and oxygen. Nice. So the deuterium hopefully will go into the left, right? So gas tank. Cool. Yeah, we're going to want more of these. So alloys. Right, uh, we're gonna need, good, four more of you. Right, so we're gonna want a ba basic gas tank that's gonna be upgraded to this dude. That's gonna be upgraded to this dude, which is going to be upgraded to this dude. Right, and you will be good. Now you need a little bit of speed help too, don't you? So did you get your uh, energy times eight and speed times eight? So I guess you're running faster now, right? Speed, yeah, you're you're cooking right along, Chief. Forty-eight hundred deuterium. Why do I feel like you stopped? Oh, right, because oxygen. <laughs> uh, I can just dump excess on you, right? Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Hello, hello. Now we're cooking. No fluid, that's fine, because it's just immediately dumping out and turning into deuterium. So technically, if I want to speed this up a little bit, I can by grabbing one more pump, right, from mechanism, electric pump. So we need more alloys, as always. You know what? Give me uh, some more of you and uh, some more of you and some more of you. Come on, crafting CPUs. Thank you. Uh, and a steel casing, because we need that. All right. Uh, and then the filter. So we need tin, pulverized tin. So we can get our filter upgrade. Thank you. And the pump. So this should be relatively easy, right? We just do this. We pop it right there. Uh, and you're making water because you're a dope, but that's okay. Uh, we need the filter upgrade in you. So let's get ourselves a tank just so we can void that fluid real quick. Maybe next time I do that, I'll be smart about it, right? So now you're theoretically producing what you should be, right? Which is which is the stuff, right? So if I put you on insert mode, you've got heavy water showing up, right? And then you just need the speed upgrades. So that was easy because we already had all the wiring in place. So it was literally just place another pump in the world and we just doubled our heavy water production, right? And then you're just going to be extract always active, which is fine. And and just for the purposes of visual niceness, right? So you're cooking, you're cooking, you're cooking, you're making deuterium. Nice. 
So now we've got deuterium and tritium production. Hooray! That is what's up. Um, I almost feel like I want more deuterium production. Because, like, as great as you are, you're still not keeping up. Maybe I'll get a couple more pumps. Would that be the end of the world? I don't know. I'll come back in a minute. I might do this off camera real fast. All right, so this time I'm doing it the smart way, right? Put the filter in before we place it over the water pool. Right, which should have you producing heavy water at a pretty good rate. Right, not bad. Still pretty slow though, pretty slow. But now you're connected and you are behaving. And that is getting us decent amounts of deuterium. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time once we have a full gas tank of deuterium, which shouldn't take that long. Um, you know, especially if I wanted to do that. Might help a little bit. I want to see, like, at what point do I need to actually, like, will I start getting a backstuffing of, 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 of heavy water? Like, that's what I want to know at this point, right? Like, at what point will you backstuff heavy water into this machine? Not, not yet. <laughs> we need a lot of electric pumps if we want to backstuff heavy water. <laughs> that is what we just discovered. We need a lot of electric pumps if we want to backstuff heavy water. But making deuterium is not a big deal, right? Uh, so what I'll probably do is get two more ultimate gas tanks so that I can swap these so that they'll continue running, right? Um... So like we'll we'll just prepare like you know ten more of these each just just to be prepared, All right? Um, for now, don't point signing off. We'll come back next time and we'll turn on our fusion reactor. Does that sound like a good time? I hope so because that's what we're doing. All right, for now, don't point signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.